<laughs> I'm an organ baby. I'm an organ baby. <laughs> yeah, first trimester. Really loaded up on organ meats. Hey, I'm Matt. I'm Talia. And today, we're gonna be learning about some unusual Southern traditions. What? Yeah. Are you ready? I am. Yo, okay, I'm not. <laughs> All right, number one. This is from Linda. Hi, Linda. Tying a string on the leg of a June bug for a toy. And this is a sentence that makes absolutely no sense <laughs> to me. I don't know what this is. I, I don't know how that's even possible. How would you not rip the leg off the June bug? And the, did you make that up for this community question? I've never heard of that. You, You've never heard of that? I don't even know what a June bug is. I said it. Oh, uh, you had friends growing up. <laughs> like, I don't I don't know if I did it, but I think I had cousins that did it with like bugs. This... Like they would tie like a string to like a fly or a like a like a bee. And then it it would you'd have the string and it would just like circle around. And, but you'd have like That is torture. It's like a leash. That's just torture. <laughs> it doesn't seem cruel to me. I, I just don't have I don't have a conscience when it comes to bugs. There's too many of them. We can afford to lose them. We can, a few, we can afford to lose a few thousand a day. Yeah. Just Unless it's go. a honeybee. Yes. Those are important. We need those. Unless it's a carpenter bee. That can go. So what you do is you, you trap one and you tie a string and it's like really, really hard to get the string on them. But when you do it, then you like walk around and it's like a pet. Or in my case and Linda's case, our best friend for the summer. You know, you've turned out really well. I uh, <laughs> That makes me sad for you. If, if this is a bit, then Stop like, that's it. real, then um, I'm happy that you are who you are now despite that. Uh, Thank you for your contribution, Linda. Shelby says, consuming organ meats through a person's first trimester. This also makes, what are these words? Oh, Shelby, um, you didn't have to do that. <laughs> I've, um, despite appearances, I've never been pregnant, um, but... <laughs> You've had two children. Yes. Did you consume any organ meat? No. Mm. All right, I'm putting on my doctor's hat. Dr. Ryan here. Um, I'm like 25% sure you're supposed to do the opposite. I have not, uh, I have not reproduced it, Can yet, somebody in the comments I, like tell me if I'm right or not? No, there's something, there's something about, I think you're not supposed to eat like turkey and like meat from the deli, but organ meats, have at it. I think the thing is, is like they're rich in like certain vitamins. And so you, you want a whole lot of that. No, you're pregnant, especially you know like what is also rich in vitamins? Vitamins. Prenatal <laughs> vitamins. Is it to like say, I'm gonna make my baby healthy by maybe giving it something to grow an organ from? You gotta boost the baby. Yeah. Get that baby beefy as hell. Yeah, with some. <laughs> <laughs> that baby comes out like. <laughs> I'm an organ baby. <laughs> I'm an organ baby. Yeah, first trimester, really loaded up on organ meats. Mindy says a Walmart sack full of Walmart sacks stuffed under your kitchen sink. Okay, I don't think this is a Southern tradition. I think this is just called being an adult. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got. Walmart. Oh yeah. yeah. I got. I got Walmart sacks on Walmart. Actually, I don't shop really at Walmart, so we got Target sacks on Target sacks. But also, if I'm gonna save bags, I'm gonna save Target over Walmart because the new Walmart bags are awful. Thanks. If you just look at them wrong, they rip right open. I've been I've been ranting about this for uh, years. Um, They're awful. They're, They're they made are. out of like can't use them anymore. Plastic scented air. They yeah. just they're awful. Totally, this is legit, this is very Southern. Oh yeah, you gotta have all the Walmart bags and then you stuff them into one Walmart bag, which is the holder for the Walmart bags. Right. And then- And magically the one size can hold, you know, endless. multiple, it's, yes, it's endless. Infinity. It's infinity, like- It's never ending. You can hold millions of Walmart bags in just one Walmart bag. It is the gate to like a black hole. Karen says, we also butchered hogs in the front yard on Thanksgiving. <laughs> No, okay. No, no, we didn't. No, <laughs> we didn't. <laughs> like for fun? Karen. You know, I'm sure there's Southerners that have fond memories of um, butchering hogs, slaughtering animals in their front yard. I want to know is why do you specify the front yard? Like, oh, we do it in the backyard every other day of the year, but Thanksgiving, we want the neighbors to watch, so we move it to the front yard. If you got a front yard, you gotta be yeah. butchering hogs there. And hogs, that's more than one. How many people? <laughs> oh are you gosh, thinking? yeah, that's it's true. Hogs. Yeah, you're like, hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. You over here, Wilbur? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, that went dark. That got. <laughs> That, um, I think that painted a picture that made us all sad when you had to throw in Wilbur, who's a real- Oh, oh, so I'm the bad guy with Karen over here talking about butchering the hogs? <laughs> this sounds like a very traumatic Thanksgiving tradition. Certainly for the hogs. And I have to do a lot of traveling on Thanksgiving to go to different houses. Never, never have I like driven by and like, oh, there it is. There's the Smiths with the annual slaughter of the hogs. 
in the front yard. Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. I feel like if it was a turkey, I'd at least like be able to make slightly more sense of it. I still wouldn't like it. Sticking a knife in the ground to make the rain stop. Does that work for you? There's no scientific basis for that. I'm no meteorologist, nor am I a scientist, but I'm pretty sure all you're doing is aerating your lawn. Maybe it worked one time, coincidentally, and they were like, what? We keep doing it. I mean. I, hold on, we gotta read this again. Sticking a knife in the ground to make the rain stop. Christine, how many times has this worked out for you? You know, the South is a relatively big region, and so <laughs> just because we haven't heard of this um, doesn't mean that Christine's not spewing the truth here. For all we know, everybody except the people in this room stick knives in the ground. Seems like your frustration is horribly misdirected. You're angry at the sky. Throw so that maybe, knife up in the air. So maybe don't stab the ground, you know? Seems don't, like don't throw knives up in the air. That's a good idea. Throw the knife no. in the air. Definitely not straight up. Throw the knife in the air. Maybe when it lands, it hits a hog. Start a new tradition, slaughter the hogs. It all comes back to killing the hogs. You got a specific rain knife? Like, hey, it's raining, get the rain knife. <laughs> get the rain knife. It's in like a, a beautifully ornate box that's like locked in a cabinet somewhere and someone has to take this really old key and like undo the thing and be like, the rain knife. Yeah, I would like to know the origins of this tradition. Yeah. Sh Allison says, shooting mistletoe out of the tops of trees for decoration. Okay, actually this seems smart to me depending on where you live. So, you always see mistletoe in the top of trees, right? No. What? 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 What is, like what kind of tree? Okay, this could go one of two ways. Okay. One, there's mistletoe in the tree and you shoot it out like with a gun. Right. Or you put mistletoe launchers in the top of a tree. <laughs> that was my that, first that was, thought. That, that was mine too and I had to fight it because that. <laughs> yeah, anything involving shooting in a tree, I think I will I will say yeah, that probably. This sounds that, southern. That there's sounds guns, southern enough to me. there's trees, and then there's the act of shooting. Yeah, it's, and so, it's involving a gun when you're decorating and yeah, then, yeah. yeah. I'm not about to- All of those balls are mistletoe? Yeah. I, I've never seen that. Like all fall and winter. I've never paid attention. And, you sh and the best way to get down is to shoot it. Are you gonna climb a tree? I'm not gonna climb a tree. I don't want it. It can stay in the tree. What if Lisa said to you, we are having a holiday party and I want mistletoe all over the house? I was like, it sounds like there's gonna be some sexual harassment lawsuits coming out of this. <laughs> I'd rather not do that. Abby says, Texas homecoming moms. I know about these. I don't. Yeah, um, homecoming moms are like a different breed of mother. You have no, your normal no, mom. No, Ryan. Um, <laughs> Wait, a, what? A, a mom is a type of flower. Oh, you know, we're, oh. Like a corsage at homecoming. Everyone, let's well, this is embarrassing. a moment to process this. Please cut this out. <laughs> Please cut this out. Are you familiar with that? The only reason that I know what this is is because it's a southern thing has done articles and stories yeah. about it. Yeah, I mean, no, yeah, because it's just a Texas thing. Yeah. So if you're not from Texas, you probably don't know, have a clue what it is. Well, but there's like, they're like these huge things that you like wear on homecoming. They're kind of like, okay, like a corsage. Oh, uh, I've seen these. Yeah, yeah, but they're like mums and you like pin them to your dress. Big old, and they're big old huge. wearables. Yeah. Wearables. The homecoming moms are like the size of like a, 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 a Ford Focus and they just strap them on to these children. It's almost like a small planet. Why? Uh, tradition? I might have heard of it. Uh, this is maybe the first actual tradition we've had on this list. Yeah. The rest are just weird stuff your family does. Gather the first snow of the season in the mason jar and keep it cold until summer and use it at, on sunburns. Oh. That is so fun and sweet. It didn't snow enough where I lived on the Gulf Coast for there to be any sort of concept of what we do with the first snow of the season. How would that, why, how, what? Okay, a lot of things to unpack here. Unless first there's, off, yeah. First snow of the season kind of makes me think that you're not from around here. That's good, I didn't even catch that. Yeah. The first snow for us is usually the last. Right. Yeah, where are you located where you're getting first, first and more yeah. snows? Um, that's extremely exciting. Dirty sky water that became dirty groundwater that is now in a mason jar and it's cold and you're just gonna put that on your sunburn. So all you have now though is sunburn that is wet and dirty. 
Not a good tradition, nor one that is planned. I love I love starting your comment with that. Being disclaimer. like, this is terrible, don't even read it. Well, guess what, Cassandra? We're reading it. Not a good tradition, nor one that is planned, but everyone getting into a fight at some family event, whether it's Christmas, Granny's birthday, or a funeral. There will be someone mad who can't keep their mouths shut. This was, we were just asking for traditions, not like a therapy session. You have to unload on us here. I like how it goes, whether it's Christmas, Granny's birthday, or a funeral. And to me, that seems like a very specific chain of events where y'all <laughs> had a fight. So Christmas, mm -hmm. and everybody got tense, and it led to Granny's birthday, and then something went wrong, and then there was a funeral? Y'all, Granny, y'all killed Granny. You're arguing killed Granny. Now's a good time to maybe define tradition. As, <laughs> as we're almost done with this video. As something that is planned. She's got a point though. Yeah. Like it's always the major events. It's always like okay. Christmas, wedding, funeral, birthday. Some kind of drama. Some, and it's Don't always- you think that's everywhere in every family? No, I bet, but and it's always the same person. And maybe you're not planning it, but maybe that cousin that it's always starting stuff. Yeah, they're like, they're like, hee hee. Funeral time. Can't, <laughs> can't wait to talk about how it's so brave that Aunt Cindy wears that color pink. <laughs> yes, I've been waiting all month. I'm gonna this. be passive aggressive as hell. Yes, it's a tradition. <laughs> My favorite tradition. Stacy says, seriously, back in the day, not sure if people still do, dot, 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 taking pictures of self with the clearly departed in the coffin. Stacy, what? People still do that. Yeah, I feel like people still do that. I've seen on Facebook. This is the thing, I've seen people do this. I don't want to do it. I've never like had myself in the picture with them, but I've seen, I've been present when people were doing that. So like an old school self, like a selfie with a regular camera. Isn't this some Walker County stuff? Here's me, here's me and Mima. When you take the picture, do you smile? <laughs> yeah, if I'm in the vicinity or you know, I'm in a viewing or a wake or whatever, Phone is not coming out, I guarantee <laughs> uh -huh. you that. Uh -huh. like, I don't want even people to be thinking that I would even no. think to take a selfie. Clearly departed, and did she mean dearly departed in the coffin? Clearly. Clearly departed, like they did, just so, in case you're wondering. So that, like, she's I know they're in a coffin her. in case you weren't sure it out, they did. <laughs> she's by there and she's checking the poles and then she's like, all right, they're dead. Clean. <laughs> but I do you want this to be on the record. Dead. When I die, you can touch me. <laughs> You almost made, you almost made Hello, it, you But I do want this on the record. When I die, you can touch me. As a matter of fact, poke me as hard as you can. Make sure I'm gone before you put me in the ground. I mean, really, give me a good, give me, give me a good poking. <laughs> Open hand slap, whatever it takes. And if I flinch even the slightest old bed, you, you call it off. Well, that that is it for- uh, Was that the last one? That was the last one. That's how we end this episode. Yes. I've learned that there are apparently a lot more traditions out there I didn't know about. Um, I'm interested in very few of them. We learned a lot about you. I don't know if I'll be employing any of these traditions nope. in the future. Maybe the hog one. <laughs> Maybe the hog one. That seems the more, or the beefy baby one. The beefy baby. <laughs> Organ meat. Yeah, you um, y'all really delivered with some southern traditions and. I can't wait for the comments that are like, are these people even Southern? They haven't heard of every single one of these. And uh, if there are some other strange Southern traditions that uh, we have not mentioned that you know about, let us know in the comments. Maybe we'll respond to those next time. Uh, or try them out for ourselves. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to tie a string to a June bug. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna save the first snow in my fridge. You know, you know what's a, a, a tradition that never goes away? Death. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the universal tradition. Yeah, not just Southern. If you liked this video, then you should join the Potluck. Matt, what is the Potluck? The Potluck is the exclusive membership program for fans of It's a Southern Thing. When you join, you'll get all kinds of stuff, uh, like, like your Southern card, what? behind the scenes looks at what we're making, what? discounts on merch, and so, so, so much more. So much more. Go to southernthing.com slash potluck to join. Go ahead. We'll wait right here. We'll save you a hog to slaughter.